Here is the continuation of how to successfully search for documents on KCCTE's resources page. From the first video, you should be on Search and Upload Teaching Documents page. Since this video is specifically for searching, we will stick to the Search tab only. There will be a separate video on uploading documents. First thing we will discuss is if you want to see all the documents we have in our library. So first, you're going to click on Show All underneath Show All Listings. As you can see from this page, you are able to see the author, document info, grade level that the document applies to, program, rating, and you are also given the option to download the document. If you click on author, you are able to alphabetize all of the documents by the author's first names, as you can see. You are also able to do this with document info, grade level, and program. The My Rating column is specific to your account. This allows you to rate your favorites so that they are easy to locate and allows you to track which documents you have already downloaded. To download, simply click the Download button. Keep in mind, depending on the browser that you are using, this process may be different. Today I am using Google Chrome as my browser. After clicking Download, a survey will pop up. This will ask you for some of your input about this library. So we will fill it in now. As you can see at the bottom left hand of your screen, you can see that it is downloaded. Once your material is downloaded, you can click on the arrow near the download and click open. This automatically opens the folder or document on your computer. In this case, I downloaded a complete course listing called Exploratory Ag. In the description of this listing, it states this is one of two which means there is another listing that goes along with it. Once you have opened the folder, the first document to preview in it is the index, which is right here. You're going to click on the course index. Once the course index has been opened, you can see there is a timeline showing an estimated time to plan for each review. Right here. Below the timeline is a table of contents allowing you to see the files available which are organized by lesson right here. These files that are listed on the index coincide in the same order with the folders within this download. All of the files are editable and open source allowing you to make changes and copies as you wish. Now we are going to close out of the index page, close out of the download, so that you are returning back to this page. From this page, you are also able to limit how many documents you see on each page. The default is 10, but you can go all the way up to 100. So right now we will view 25 entries. As you can see, once I click that, it shows you 25 entries on the page. So if you scroll down, you can see that you are also able to choose what page you want to go to next but also are given the option to click next as well. Knowing all of this will allow you to successfully navigate this page and download the documents that you are looking for. Next, you have to scroll back up to the top and click on the back arrow next to search results. From there, you should be back at the search and upload teaching documents page. Now we will cover searching by parameters. You will see the first option under search by parameter is keyword. So if there is a certain document that you are searching for, for example, say you are searching for documents in the library about agriculture, then you can type that keyword there.
You can see that since I typed in agriculture and clicked search that all of the documents that are brought up have something to do with agriculture. After clicking back to search and upload teaching documents page, the next thing to see is the added after option. This allows you to filter documents that were uploaded after a certain date. So, for example, if I only wanted to look at documents that were uploaded after May 1, 2017, then this feature allows me to do that. Keep in mind that even though you have already refined your search, you are still able to list items alphabetically. The next feature under, adder, under Added After is Author. This allows you to search for a specific author in the resources library. For example, if I only wanted to see documents from Anel Meals, then I am able to search for her name. Next is choosing the grade level that you want these documents to coincide with. So, the options you have are middle school, high school, and post-secondary. You are able to click as many of the options that you want to apply to the search. The next two options are program and type of resource both of which have drop down arrows so you can just choose from the options of what you are specifically looking for. At the bottom of that page you can see that there is a search button and a clear all button. So you will press the search button to search but the clear all button is used if you have entered in information in the above blanks and you are wanting to clear all of the information entered above. As you can see, also at the bottom of the page, there is a blue resources request button. This button is if you have a certain resource that you would want to see in the R library. So if you click the button, it will bring you to a KCCTE resources request form to fill out. As you can see, it asks for your name, school organization name, position, email, phone, and how you would prefer to be contacted. We will fill this out now. As you can see, it asks you if you would be interested in contributing materials to the KCCTE resource library as well. As you can see, once you are finished with that, after the request is received, we will begin the process of obtaining the requested materials. That concludes this video. I hope that this introduction to resources through KCCTE was helpful. Please check back often for more resources as this is a new and growing library. Thank you.